The Wild West era is often associated with iconic firearms such as revolvers and rifles, but there were also various melee weapons that were used during that time. While the value of such items can vary depending on their historical significance, condition, and other factors, here are some of the most expensive melee weapons associated with the Wild West. The Bowie Knife is a large, fixed-blade knife that has become an iconic symbol of the American West. Named after Jim Bowie, a legendary frontiersman and adventurer, the knife was popularized during the early 19th century and quickly became one of the favorite among cowboys, outlaws, and soldiers. The History of the Bowie Knife the history of the Bowie knife is somewhat murky with many different accounts of its creation and development. According to one popular story, Jim Bowie was involved in a fight in 1827, during which he used a large knife to defend himself against several attackers. The knife was said to have been made by a blacksmith named James Black, and it featured a long curved blade with a sharp point and a distinctive clip at the top. The design of the knife was soon copied by other craftsmen, and it became known as the Bowie knife, in honor of Jim Bowie. Over time, the Bowie knife evolved to a, include a range of different blade shapes and handle designs, each suited to a particular use. Description: The Bowie knife is characterized by its large size and distinctive blade shape. The blade typically measures between 6 and 12 inches in length and features a long, sweeping curve that tapers to a sharp point. The blade is usually made of high carbon steel and is sharpened to a razor edge, making it an effective tool for cutting, chopping, and slicing. The handle of the Bowie knife is typically made of wood, bone, or horn, and is often decorated with brass or silver fittings. The handle is designed to provide a secure grip, even when the knife is wet or slippery. People who use the Bowie knife The Bowie knife was popular among frontiersmen, cowboys, soldiers, and outlaws alike. During the 19th century, Jim Bowie himself was known to carry a large Bowie knife, and he reportedly used it to great effect in several fights and battles. Other famous users of the Bowie knife include Davy Crockett, who's said to have carried a Bowie knife during his time as a frontiersman and politician, and William Barrett Travis, who used a Bowie knife to defend the Alamo in 1836. Notable mentions The Bowie knife has become a enduring symbol of the Wild West, and it has been featured in countless works of popular culture over the years. In films and television shows, the Bowie knife is often associated with rugged individualism, self-reliance, and the frontier spirit. One notable mention of the Bowie knife is in the classic western film The Searchers, in which John Wayne's character uses a Bowie knife to great effect in several scenes. Another is in the song The Ballad of Davy Crockett, which mentions Crockett's prowess with a Bowie knife. In recent years, the Bowie knife has also become a popular collectible item, with antique examples fetching high prices at auction. The knife remains a popular symbol of the American West and continues to inspire fascination and admiration among enthusiasts and collectors alike. The tomahawk is a versatile hand axe that has been used for centuries by Native Americans and later adopted by European settlers in the American West. It's become an iconic symbol of the frontier, and antique tomahawks in excellent condition or with unique historical provenance can fetch tens of thousands of dollars at auction. History of the Tomahawk The tomahawk was first used by Native American tribes, who developed a variety of different designs and styles depending on their needs and traditions. Some tomahawks were used for hunting and fishing, while others were used for ceremonial purposes or as weapons of war. When European settlers arrived in the Americas, they quickly recognized the usefulness of the tomahawk and began to adopt it for their own purposes. They made modifications to the traditional designs, adding features like metal blades and longer handles, and began to use the tomahawk for everything from chopping firewood to fighting in battles. Description The tomahawk is a versatile hand axe that typically features a metal blade and a wooden handle. The blade may be straight or curved, and may be single-edged or double-edged. The handle is usually made of wood, although some examples feature bone, horn, or metal fittings. One of the most distinctive features of the tomahawk is the shape of the blade, which often includes a pointed or rounded pole on the opposite side from the blade. This pole can be used for a variety of tasks, including hammering, crushing, and throwing. People who use the tomahawk The tomahawk was used by Native American tribes throughout the Americas for centuries, and it became an important part of their culture and traditions. Many tribes decorated their tomahawks with intricate designs and symbols, using them as status symbols or as part of religious ceremonies. When European settlers arrived in the Americas, they quickly adopted the tomahawk and began to use it for a variety of purposes. Frontiersmen and cowboys used tomahawks for chopping firewood and building shelters, while soldiers carried tomahawks as weapons of war. Notable Mentions The tomahawk has become an enduring symbol of the American West, and it's been featured in countless works of popular culture over the years. In films and television shows, the tomahawk is often associated with Native American culture and the frontier spirit. 
One notable mention of the tomahawk is the classic western film, The Lost of the Mohicans, in which the character Magua uses a tomahawk to deadly effect in several scenes. Another is in the song Davy Crockett, which mentions the famous frontiersman Prowess with a tomahawk. In recent years, the tomahawk has also become a popular collectible item, with antique examples fetching high prices of auction. The tomahawk remains a powerful symbol of the American West and continues to inspire fascination and admiration among enthusiasts and collectors alike. The Cavalry Saber is a sword that was primarily used by cavalrymen during the Civil War and later in the Wild West. It is an iconic weapon of the American West, and original examples in excellent condition can fetch upwards of $10,000 at auction. History The Cavalry Saber was developed in the early 19th century and became the primary weapon of cavalry troops in the United States Army. It was designed to be used from horseback and was ideal for quick slashing attacks against enemy infantry or other cavalry units. During the Civil War, the Cavalry Saber became an important symbol of military prowess, and many soldiers prized their swords as symbols of their bravery and skill in combat. After the war, many veterans brought their swords home with them as treasured souvenirs. Description The Cavalry Saber is a sword that typically features a curved single edge blade and a handguard to protect the user's hand during combat. The blade is often around 35 to 40 inches in length, making it longer than many other swords of the time period. The head of the cavalry saber is often made of brass or another metal and may feature decorative elements like engraving or knurled grip. The scabbard, which is used to hold a sword when it's not in use, is typically made of leather or metal. People who use the cavalry saber. The cavalry saber was primarily used by cavalry troops in the United States Army during the 19th and early 20th centuries. It was a standard issue weapon for most cavalry units and, sol and soldiers were often trained extensively in its use. In addition to its military use, the cavalry saber also became popular among civilians in the, world, in the Wild West, where it was often carried as a symbol of personal protection or used in duels. Many famous figures of the American West, including Wild Bill Hickok and Wyatt Earp, were known to carry cavalry sabers. Notable Mentions The cavalry saber has appeared in numerous works of popular culture over the years, and it's become an enduring symbol of the American West. In films and television shows, the sword is often associated with military prowess and the spirit of the frontier. One notable mention of the cavalry saber is the classic western film, The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly, in which the character Angel Eyes uses a cavalry saber in several key scenes. In recent years, it's become a popular collectible item with original examples in excellent condition, fetching high prices at auction. The sword remains an enduring symbol of the American West and continues to inspire fascination and admiration among enthusiasts and collectors alike. From the Bowie knife to the cavalry saber and the tomahawk, the melee weapons of the Wild West are not only functional, but also deeply ingrained in the culture of time. Despite their own violent associations, these weapons have become collectible items for enthusiasts and collectors alike. Whether it's for their historical significance or their intricate designs, these weapons are a reminder of a long time gone but not forgotten.